Hi everyone, Heather from Create Community Studios here again. Um, today I'm here to talk to you about boxes. Um, and today's art prompt is um, using a box as a piece of art um, and use it, transforming it into something uh, really creative. So um, if you've been on our Facebook page or watched some of our other YouTube videos, you've seen a, um, information about our taking care boxes. And one of the things um, that's cool about them is that the actual box can become um, an art prompt of itself. So that's what I'm gonna kind of talk about today. So this is a box that I have made recently. Um, this is actually an old uh, cigar box, um, but really you can use any kind of box that you have in your home. Um, shoe boxes are great, um, gift boxes, um, usually something with like a lid that kind of opens and closes um, is a little easier to use than maybe like a, a, a box where the lid folds in. But you really can use just about anything that you would have in your home for this project. Um, so what you're going to need is a box, obviously. Um, you can use magazine stuff to cut out. You can use markers, um, glue. Really, the great thing about this project is it's just about adaptable to whatever you've got in your home. Um, and the concept is really very simple. Um, you want to start by... Um, Covering either covering your box with paper. So if you've got a shoe box that is um, kind of has that like glossy um, Coating on it um, That might be a good um, Time to use paper and cover over um, use decoupage um, You can also try and cover with paint, but some kinds of paint stick to that glossiness and sometimes paint doesn't um, so you might have to do a little trial trial and error um, with mine, I was lucky because this was, um, it's wood and just a cardboard finish. Um, so yeah, definitely start with, um, something that you know that the, the paint or, um, is going to adhere to if you feel like you're going to paint. Otherwise, um, magazine materials, um, gift wrap, scrapbooking paper, any of that stuff makes, um, great, um, great materials to use for a box. And, you can really kind of interpret um, how you want to decorate your box um, however you want. Um, that's what's really cool about it. So for mine, I just kind of started um, by thinking about things that make me feel calm. And one of the things that I just love doing when I'm outside is watching the clouds and looking at the clouds. And they just made me feel so peaceful and calm. Um, when it's a blue sky day and there's those little white puffy clouds. So that's kind of how I started my box. And then I th started thinking about my box as well. If these are the, this is the way that I feel calm on the outside and things that make me feel calm, a calm image. Um, I was also kind of thinking about how lots of times we feel calm on the outside or we look calm on the outside, but then we hold a lot of stuff inside. So that's kind of the inside of my box. And I had uh, decoupaged a couple different images. Um, and again, they're nature. So this is still what grounds me, um, is being out in nature um, and helps me feel mindful um, when I'm feeling stressed out. But then this is sort of more representative of energy and stress and stuff that I might kind of tend to keep a little bottled up. Um, but it's kind of being also... Um, tempered by a night sky. So that's that's the other part that um, helps me feel calm too. You know, when you're outside in nature and see the stars, um, especially if there's no light pollution, you're out, you're lucky enough to be out in the, um, in the country where there's stars that go on and on and forever. So these were kind of two things that kind of keep me grounded with a lot of this energy um, in between. So Again, this is my box and you really can um, create yours and design yours however you want. Um, a lot of times um, people like to use uh, different words on their boxes, um, draw pictures of things that um, help them, they are like coping skills or things that really make them feel good on the outside. Um, 
and um, you could carry that through to the inside too. It's really kind of up to you. So this is a really very individualized project and I hope that you have fun with it and um, please post pictures of any boxes you create. Thanks so much for joining us. Bye-bye.